Welcome to Omniology School, the basic common sense about eating habits that we will read from today. This is a book published in September 1995 by Dr. Yang He Lee as a dialogue between teacher and student. Diet is the cornerstone of our health. This will be useful health information. The English version was provided by Omniology School and we would appreciate your understanding that the contents of the original diagram have been omitted. 9. Sugar and Dietary Fiber Student Hello, teacher. It's already autumn, and the sky is clear and it's quite chilly in the morning and evening. This time, I would like to ask you about saccharina tea, following on from the previous protein. Teacher, how are you? So today, let's talk about saccharina tea. Student, first of all, please explain the etymology of saccharina tea. Teacher, yes, saccharina tea were formerly called carbohydrates because they consist of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. However, these days, it is often called carbohydrates because it is a substance composed of sugar. Student, is that so? As far as I know, when we talk about carbohydrates, we mean all substances that are not sweet like fiber, and when we talk about saccharina tea, it feels like a narrow range. Teacher, it's not like that. Even substances with no sweet taste, such as fiber, are substances in which countless glucose molecules are bound together. It is expressed as C6H10O5N because its molecular formula is a substance with several glucose, C6 hydrogen oxide, attached to it. Student, so, you're saying that the cotton we use to fuel our clothes and the wood we use to build our houses are all made of glucose? Teacher, that's exactly what it is. In addition, starch in the rice we eat every day, pectin used to make jam. And all fibers that make up plants belong to saccharina tea made by combining several glucose products made by combining carbon dioxide and water by plants through photosynthesis so. If these starches and fibers are likely to be broken down by acids or enzymes, they are eventually broken down into sugars. So, all substances made up of several sugars combined in this way are called saccharina tea. Student. So, if you eat fiber, will you be nutritious? Teacher, this is not the case with humans. The reason is that saccharina tea are all substances made by combining several sugars, but depending on the type of carbohydrate. There are types that can be digested by digestive enzymes secreted by people's digestive organs, and there are types that cannot be digested. So, various sugars and starches are digested so they are absorbed into our body and serve as nutrients. As pectin and fiber are not digested, they pass through the digestive tract as they are, but are not absorbed as nutrients. However, in the case of ruminants such as cattle, with the help of microorganisms in the stomach, a large portion of the fiber is digested and absorbed as nutrients. Student, oh, so even if you cut up the straw and boil it, the cows eat it, However, humans cannot digest these fibers, so they are not absorbed in the end. Teacher. Yes. So, the intake of saccharina tea is to know the type of sugar well and consume it. Student. All right. Then, sir, first explain the type of saccharina tea. Teacher. It is. Saccharina tea are broadly divided into monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Here, monosaccharides are a form in which one sugar molecule exists, and for example, glucose, fructose, and galactose belong to monosaccharides, and oligosaccharides are relatively small saccharides with 2 to 8 sugar molecules combined. Disaccharides such as sugar, maltose, and lactose belong to this oligosaccharide, and polysaccharides are digestible and indigestible. Polysaccharides such as dextrin, starch, and glycogen are easily digestible. Whereas polysaccharides such as pectin, gum, and fiber are indigestible polysaccharides. Student, 
Come to think of it, there must be many types of saccharinity. It's hard to remember all of them. Teacher, it is very complicated to subdivide the classification of saccharinity. If you want to know in detail, please see Handbook of Dietary Life, P28 tilde P30. Thanks for listening so far. God be with you. Basic common sense about diet conversation reading will continue.